Do you want to see what would happen if two teams were to play in the smallest ballpark in Major League Baseball? Stay tuned to find it. Welcome to another video. This is a video on a project that I had in mind to make on making the smallest ballpark in Major League Baseball that I could probably make. The first video that I made was about the biggest ballpark that I could make that the game would allow me to make. Well, basically, in the first video, which was about the biggest ballpark, it, the point of it was to make defenses be uh, as far away as the game would allow me to make, while also simultaneously uh, make defenses as high as the game would allow me. In this particular video, the project is the exact opposite, or rather, the, uh, it has the exact opposite premise. And the ballpark would have the, the it will be as close as the game would allow me to have defenses while also having defenses be as low as the game will allow me to make. Now the final thing is that in the in the first video the the field was uh, at about one feet above sea level which was the lowest distance the, you know, the, the, the lowest height it would allow you but look at this clutch over here just just see how it starts and then how it finishes that that's weird but as i was trying to say uh the premise in the first video uh was basically to make a uh park which it was impossible to hit a, a conventional woman up of in this one the, the idea was to make a park in which it was more likely for home runs to happen because of the high level of uh, uh sea elevation or rather uh, you know, a, a high level of the elevation of the ballpark in, in, rela in relation to the sea level uh, and then the fences uh, were as close to the ballpark as the, it were as close as the game will allow me to have it and then last but not least the fences are lowered at, to as low as the game will allow me to make it uh, uh, Ivan Perez which is my cousin and he has a he has a twitch channel make sure to check him out uh, he gave me the idea to make a video on this as I uh, uh, actually uh, discussed this idea with them to make these two ballparks uh, when we were at uh, Saratoga Comic Con. So yeah, I, it, I noticed that there was a bit of a difference in terms of uh, home and away splits in terms of home runs and RBIs and that sort of stuff. Was the difference uh, noticeable enough? Well, I say it was noticeable enough for me to say, all right, so there's a bit of a difference here. But then again, it all depends on who is the batter, who is, on, on how fast they are, how strong they are, that sort of thing. You know, batters, they will have enough of a pop in there. They don't have to be the strongest players in the world. But players that have, you know, that they're average, they have average uh, uh, power or, or batting power might be able to get up a lot of homers in here i mean just imagine aaron judge hitting homers in this ballpark i mean it would be crazy he he would easily get 100 home runs in this ball in this ballpark it would be crazy but even then uh it was it was great to do this project to do this kind of thing and and now they're making a second video about this project uh you know just the, the amount of creativity in which uh, i'm able to in which you were all able to have creating these sort of ballparks is very so, really amazing. I'm glad that this feature is available in this game. Now, this is the last video in, in, of this game that I'm going to make. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the MLB The Show Road to the Show series and for watching these videos. I will see y'all later. Peace.